Hey StarCrafters, welcome to the channel. Wookie here. Thanks for tuning in, and today we have Prophet of Alternating Caps, who sends a scout immediately, apparently. Uh, when he starts a game, first thing he does is send a scout and start with five workers, but you'll notice I opened this tab real quick so you can see our incomes. I was nine seconds late on mine. I didn't move any uh, workers until nine seconds, because my game decided to minimize at the start, uh, so that, like, DirectX could tell me that I needed a driver update or something. I'm sure it was Fraps related. Here's my opponent, Prophet, uh, in the upper right hand side of Daybreak, and I'm down here in the left <gasps> as the Terran. And this is the result of a uh, of me forgetting to switch my race back to Protoss when I went to the 1v1 ladder, because I've been 2v2ing with no torque, what up dude, uh, and been playing Terran. And we had this thing going where I would play Terran, he would play Terran, I would 1-1-1, one, 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 he would mass marine, and then we would push with two siege tanks, four medevacs, and a bunch of marines. And uh, I would drop one dropship full of marines in a mineral line as we uh, assaulted the front with uh, a kill baller. Uh, while well, we assaulted the front with two siege tanks and uh, three medevacs to support his marines and he would run up and generally run into a wall and some defenses and try to fish some units down the ramp where the siege tanks could sail them, you know, assail them from a distance. And it worked really well several times. Then one time it didn't work and then we kind of stopped doing it. And uh, now we're back to losing a lot. But <clears throat> it was a good run. We had a good run. But... Uh, so here I am in uh, my 1v1 ladder and uh, not really knowing what I'm doing. Uh, I did play Terran as uh, as random in Season 1 and I played Terran for an entire season. I forget which one it was, but I was never any good at it. So we'll see if maybe just my general uh, improvement in skill it gets me a little, uh, a little bit of a an edge with Terran. I don't want to say an edge, but you know, just, just my overall skill level being better. Maybe I can perform a little better with Terran. You can see that that's finished. There we go, Orbital Command. That was a little late. Uh, still working on some supply issues, but now I finally got a scout into his base and I see a gateway and one gas. So pretty standard things. He's a little bit late because he started on five probes, if you recall, because he sent out a very early scout. And for some reason he does not like my SCV being in his base, so I'm just going to queue up a bunch of move commands and allow him to waste a worker following me around. There's not much an SCV can do in your base that I can think of. I mean, if I put down a bunker, you're going to see that. And uh, if you hadn't wasted your scout early, and I say you, I'm talking to Prophet. But if that scout was still alive uh, long enough, you'd know if I was Marine Russian, if you had a tower, say. Uh, so no real reason to follow the SCV around, but whatevs. Do what you gotta do, brah. Uh, and here's his cybernetics core, just now finishing at 440, so a little bit late. You can see uh, on the production tab, here, I'll, I'll actually show you. I'm bringing in a tech lab first, so we've got two racks into tech lab, uh, still on one gas. And it's, it's starting to accumulate a little bit, but once the marauders start coming, uh, what I'm gonna do here is a two racks into a factory which I think I put over here which is why I uh, scroll the screen and then I go into a starport which I think I put over here uh, so it's a 211 and I like that I get the tech lab for the stem and then uh, go with a reactor here on the other barracks just to keep the Marines coming I don't like to have them both putting on their add-ons at the same time because then I have no production fail rally right there what up dude uh, and so now the Marines are going to go on a little walkabout, <clears throat> looking for a place to buy some smokes and maybe some pylons to blow up. And uh, my opponent, Prophet, is skipping the stalker, apparently. Uh, going on uh, one gas and a good intention. There he goes, two gas, two gate. Uh, could probably use a robo, certainly has the money for it. Would like to see him put that down. Uh, he is a little bit lower on the APM, but not too bad. Definitely playing in uh, bronze level APMs there, as am I. 40 is about where I'm going to top out. So and now he's getting a couple units. There's the Robo. That's what I like to see back to the production tab for you guys. You can see I'm just doing Marines, 
And Marauders waiting on that stim, and I think I caught a glimpse of this proby. Pretty sure I did. And you'll see me, yeah, just pull two Marines there to uh, to go see what he was up to over there. Pretty sure I catch this pylon. Yep. Yeah. So uh, then these guys, I think, are queued up on commands yet. Yeah, so they're they didn't get within range to attack it, but I'm gonna see it on the mini map and go over there and blow it up in just a second. And uh, still just on two racks and uh, floating a lot of money because uh, one of the things being unfamiliar with Terran and builds and plays and all that, I I really don't know the timings of when to drop crap down. So there's a factory, totally lied, put it over here instead of over here. Uh, sounded like Stim just finished, there's the engineering bay going down, so I will be working on some upgrades. And you can see I supply blocked my opponent here by taking out that pylon victory, and then I supply blocked myself by failing to build supply depots. Womp womp. But those are finishing up just now, so I clear that, and I'm uh, back on my way toward positive production. So with the factory in, uh, what you're going to see me do is put a tech lab on it, if I recall correctly, uh, so I can get into tanks. And then we're going to see me put a starport down, which I'm still going to say I put down over here. And the starport should... Uh, now see, now I can't remember if I put, a, put an add-on on it or not. I generally like to get one medevac out of my starport before I put a, uh, an add-on on it, unless I'm doing a swap around or whatever. Just because, excuse me while I perhaps punch the microphone to get an itchy spot on my face. Alright, so now we see a uh, probe out here. Looks like I tapped the tower and got a look at it. Sure did. Let's go back to the Evervision so we can get a look at my opponent's base. He is working on Immortal Production. Going up to three gates and queuing up some Immortals. So uh, even though his money is climbing up a little high, it's actually a lot higher because there's a bit of money in there. I think those are 200 to 250, so there's 500 right there, plus that 600. So some macro issues, and he's actually a little light on probes even. He's not super saturated there. So I'm going to run in here, checking for the expo, taking the wide angle here just in case, and uh, don't see an expo, so I decide I'm going to poke this ramp. What up, ramp? You're getting poked scan the top for the vision and then realize that there's a bunch of immortals up there. But all I really managed to do is even up the food count. If you can look up here in the top right you'll see pretty much just evened out and then with another warp in and another immortal I'm like oh no I gotta get out of here. Oops no wait I'll go back and take those pot shots to kill that last immortal and then ski daddle on out. So, uh, I actually got a little bit better of that. Let's take a look. Army supplies are both really low. Worker supply, pretty even. So, uh, we both just ended up with a handful of units there back home. I have the, uh, the turtle tank sitting there and, uh, just continuing to produce off of two barracks, the starport with no, uh, add-on, and now making a command center. And we can see my opponent, Profit, is uh, seizing the opportunity to expand it well, as well, which I think is uh, pretty bold on his part, seeing as how his whole army is reduced to this. And he hasn't really scouted me in a long time. And by a long time, I mean when he got that first of his... one of his first six probes into my base and, and ran it to here, and I killed it, <clears throat> if you recall. So he really doesn't know uh, anything about what I got going, and if I were to go right now, uh, the game's pretty much over. But he's kind of digging these immortals, and you know what? I dig immortals too. More power to your profit. I, I hope that works out for you, just because it would be a victory for immortals. Uh, I got the gas geysers a little early there. Uh, you don't really want to throw those down until this is about three quarters, I think, is when it lines up. But uh, doesn't have a whole lot of probes to transfer down, but hey, he's going to get on it. And <clears throat> for me, Terran, uh, newbie Terran syndrome, if you remember, I lost my army, pretty much all of it. And so I kind of went into the oh crap turtle mode, and you can see that right here. Three tanks, a bunker to fall back to if I have to, and uh, guarding that ramp. 
starting to get nervous. I'm thinking, now I'm doing that. What if he's doing this? What if he's doing that? So I'm putting up the turrets. I think I end up putting one up here too to try to kill observers. What up, dude? Take a break. But I do have my expansion command center. And I should be turning that into an orbital. Don't quite have the money yet. Now I do... I want it to be an orbital before I float it. <coughs> or do I... Production tab shows I instead prefer banshees and uh, plus one shields or plus one armor, I guess it is. Shields would be a Protoss thing, which is why I automatically went there. So, no, we don't convert to an orbital before we float, and we are going for banshee cloak. Seems kind of cheap to me now that I watch it from a third person perspective, but hey, it's a tool in the box, right? Grab a tool that works. These two guys are going around looking for some forward pylons, but we can see, because we have full vision of the map, <coughs> that uh, Prophet has no such designs. He is instead keeping his pylons close to home, playing defensively, going for the forge now so he can get the ups, and looks like he will be moving into Colossus tech, and it looks like he's kind of serious about it too, because he has two Robo Bays now. Finally has his four geysers working. Looks like he is setting up, yeah, there it is, setting up an expo over there. So he's going to be a base ahead of me. What's the income at currently? Currently he's ahead of me by 10 workers and a bunch of income. <coughs> and I am just getting myself, I'm um, setting myself up to get schooled here. Uh, because my transition into two base Terran play is probably worse than my opening one base play. You can see I have added one barracks and one reactor. Failed to rally that barracks. There you go, guys. Uh, still failed. There we go. And still working on the one factory. Still working on the one starport, which I did put over in this general vicinity, like I uh, predicted I would. And now it looks like I'm changing my mind about this tech lab and wanting to go with what I'm going to guess is a reactor here. Yeah, and we are putting a factory there for double factory production. A Phoenix? Oh, what the Phoenix? Look at that. Starport. So uh, he's getting a little bit of everything. Good thing I built all those turrets. A. Eh? Did I actually get the high sec? Look at that. Look at that. This is the one you get when you've already got these two and you don't have your armory yet. I generally don't remember to build an armory until like my minerals are all gone in my main and then I put it down here where the minerals used to be. Because that's how long it takes me to remember. Oh, oh, armory. <coughs> so here's to uh, refinery. Sorry about the coughs, guys. I am, I am fighting a cold. My ear hurts. Don't you hate that? Like when you're ear hurts every time you swallow. I kind of got a little bit of that going on. Throat's a little scratchy. Uh, in other news, uh, I had a hat on all night at work and my my scalp kind of hurts, you know, because like my... Have you ever woken up in the morning and your, your hair is like... feels like it's going the wrong direction. It makes your scalp hurt. Totally got that going on right now. <clears throat> Look at this. This is an offensive. Look at how offensive that is. All the way up to the tower. <laughs> You go, Wookie. Go get him. You get him. And we've got uh, some slow saturation going on here. Looks like uh, one just came from this way. Okay, he's got that rallied over there. Where's that one rallied? That one's rallied over there, too. So <clears throat> uh, move the rally points instead of transferring any probes down. And I sneak my way <clears throat> into this watchtower so I can get a look at the ramp here. And I see a couple of immortals, so I have a pretty good idea that his entire army should be hanging out right here. You can see the rallies are all coming in. Completely defenseless at home, <coughs> except for these two uh, turrets. There's the armory. <coughs> and a few idle workers. Wow, this guy's been on break for a long time. Holy crap. He was like... Mined minerals for two minutes, built a supply depot, and took the Ready rest of the game off. off. <clears throat> Look good on you, you know, it's good work if you can get it, supervisor. 
So I've got some anti colossus tech going on. I've got uh, a couple of banshees, some medevacs, some siege tanks not even sieged up, just sitting there waiting to get sniped. This is so horrible. I do not recommend that if you are a Terran player, you do anything that looks anything similar to this at all, ever. Uh, we are on my vision currently, so you can tell I am completely unaware of this expansion. All it takes is one marine going down there to check. Uh, but I am worried about, about getting my second expansion going on. And that is my yeah third, second expansion. Be my third base. Immediately going into a planetary fortress. Hell yeah! If you can see two Thors in production. That's awesome, because I saw a phoenix, so I'm assuming there's going to be a bunch of void rays. I can still see this. Here comes a probe to uh, to die a lot. Good thing I sieged up those tanks. And look at the money. 2,700. Oh, that's my opponent. Never mind. I've only got 98, but still. Or 980. I just hit a grand, and he just spent a ton of money. Where did all his money go? Hold on. Hold on. Stop everything. What did he just spend all his money on? Oh, there. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there's all the money. All right. Uh, back to our regularly scheduled program. And uh, it looks like... Classic ramp camp and a classic tower watch. It's a watchtower, but... I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just watching the tower <clears throat> instead of using the watchtower for information. Now, you can see I'm going to double drop him in the back here. Well, this is uh, a nice tactic to use as Terran. Just load up some drop ships, run around back, and then push the front at the same time. Stem, he's got three forges for upgrades. Only one of them upgrading anything, and it's even cute. And then I take the one out, coincidentally. Rack up some probe kills here. A little stim to win. I swear stim is the win button. You can see his whole army is like, oh crap. And then he decides he's just going to push. Right at the same time I decide I'm going to push. And oh my goodness, the carnage. <clears throat> Lasers and bombs and bullets and guns. And the mortals in the front taking, tanking tons of damage. But keeping everything else from even getting in the fight. There's these zealots are just dead money in the army. <clears throat> Food count, you can see the Protoss is taking a huge dip, but these immortals do so much damage, the zealots finally get out and clean up the bio. And now all I've got is three siege tanks, and a couple medevacs, and a former banshee, and now everything's dead. We've got one stalker versus one viking trying to kill <laughs> two colossus. The Viking, apparently I, uh, I don't bother with controlling units during battles, who cares? 2100 minerals and no army. I got three siege tanks. How many kills do they have? Seven? Eight between them? And uh, we get some medevacs coming out <coughs> from the drop play there, and oh, it looks like I, I managed to get a couple of Vikings back here to do some damage. And then I don't know the hotkeys, so I land them instead of unlanding them. Or whatever. anyway, I remember that big fiasco. So now the Thors are in the the game, and uh, some mules come down for repairs. These Colossus have to be careful because uh, three siege tanks on that ramp uh, at the same time when it gets shelled. That's a ton of damage. And uh, now that the battle's over. And I look up and I realize that I have a crap ton of money. My, my opponent is on eight gates, he's three base, he's doing fine. <clears throat> and I am like, oh no, I have forgotten to build any production. So, because <laughs> remember, I'm on three barracks and two factories and one starport. 26 minutes into the game, right? I'm on two base. So... I queue up, wait. So I queue up. I just grab like all my idle SCVs from down here and I just slap down as many barracks as I possibly can. And I even put some more over here. So now it's on. And there's an uh, engagement here at the watchtower and he pushed out and when I wasn't looking. And uh, ironically, is it ironic or is it coincidental that it happened both in game and in the cast of the replay? I don't know. But, uh, so he wipes that out, breaks the contain, and I've still got troops rallied in, and I'm like, oh no, get me out of here. 
So I fall straight back. Uh, okay, if, if straight back is off to the right, then I fall straight back. If you look at the uh, supply count up here in the upper right, we've got uh, 84 to 97. I have fallen a little bit behind. I find this, and I've got four whole units. I've got actually an extra medevac. That's like one medevac per unit, plus one, plus two, plus two. So here comes the whole darn army, so I'm not going to be able to drop this because I don't want to be down there. So everybody run, and I th think I leave this guy behind. You, you might see me try to drop him back just so he's the only one that gets shot. Yep, I was going to leave him there as kind of like the retard magnet to uh, make him <coughs> to make my opponent stop and shoot him while the ones with the troops in it escaped. But he did not have to sacrifice himself. That is one brave dude right there. You, you go, Mr. Mr. Marine. <laughs> you rule, dude. If anyone had been around to see that, they would have been impressed. Oh, either brave or stupid, right? It's a fine line. It's a very fine line. So now I've got all my racks is up, and you can see I've got 12 uh, Marines in production, just holding down the A button. Of course, didn't have any of these rallied initially, so uh, when he shows up with a... Hold on. Let's, let's look at this for a second here. He's got a uh, numerically, or at least, uh, yeah, supply cap, uh, supply wise, significantly uh, better army. I have somehow managed... Oh, it's because I dropped his main and killed a bunch of workers, so I have managed to uh, improve my economy situation. My uh, workers killed. Yeah, I did get 33 of his workers, so that was... Uh, kind of evened up the fight a little bit there. And let's look at the income tab real quick. Yeah, I'm way ahead. So, so that's working in my favor. What's not working in my favor is that his uh, superior army has just assaulted my front, and uh, I don't have my army grouped up, really. It looks like I did managed to grab all my marines. No, that's just in the replay I grabbed them. In the actual game, I did not grab them. So, his charge lots get to attack my marines two at a time. Uh, and the Colossus... Now, I guess on the plus, my marines are really spread out, so the Colossus don't do a whole lot of damage to him, and he didn't have anything that could shoot up. So these two Vikings do take out the Colossus, but they do a lot of damage. And uh, my marines and marauders, I finally get them pulled back. Um, you know, these medevacs, veterans of many engagements, are managing to uh, keep my troops alive just long enough to get the damage in, and I somehow manage to hold that off, but a uh, little bit of collateral damage there. Lost a few barracks, lost a lot of marines, but it was everything he had. We look at the way the supply has suddenly shifted. I am in a commanding lead. That's a, a rally fail right there. And I'm trying to take my fourth. He sees it and drops a pylon. And because I'm on a move command, I just go right past it. <clears throat> oh, I must have seen it. Yep. Saw the pylon pull. Two marines is all you need to uh, kill a pylon, right? Take the probe out so no cannons. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> That's not going to last very long. Oh, no. Attacking the third. Planetary Fortress. Hurry up! Hurry up! <laughs> Here come the mules. Done it! What are you doing? 100. And it got down to 84 hit points. 81. Oh no! Kill him! <laughs> Damn Terran! You can't kill buildings with infinite hit points. You would need infinite DPS. And sadly. The DPS of Zealots is uh, is finite, whereas uh, as long as you've got money and energy uh, on your orbital commands, you've got unlimited hit points on your buildings. Totally fair, and I even get some mining time out of these mules. So yeah, so we clean this up, profit, GGS. Managed to take out his third. That is going to do it for his income. Uh, actually, he had a base here, but no probes at it. I had cleaned out all this back here, I think. Yeah, we're looking at the every cam. And but with only a handful of probes and all of his gates on cooldown, he uh, he didn't have much to do from there, so somehow I managed to pull that out.
<clears throat> I'm not sure, even after watching the replay, I'm not sure exactly how I did it. Um, I think I just barely got these extra production facilities down in time when he attacked me at the ramp here. It could have been pretty bad, but I had the defender's advantage with uh, high ground and high ground, I had high ground twice, and uh, my units didn't have to run very far to get into the mix. And then some sweet mulage thanks to my uh, lack of expertise lack of control with my uh, orbital command energy and my poor macro I was able to drop down eight mules <coughs> to heal his planetary fortress not that that really mattered I don't think his zealots being there even if they take that out it, it, it wouldn't have changed the game but it sure was a lot of fun so thanks for watching, guys. Thumb it up if you uh, would, please. And uh, have fun on your ladder games, of course. Good luck. Uh, play a different race every once in a while. If uh, for no other reason than the lulls, I'm Wookie. See you later.